case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In the 1963 Supreme Court case of Haynes v. Washington, Raymond L. Haynes was convicted of robbery and sentenced to 20 years in prison. Haynes argued that his written confession was involuntarily obtained through police coercion, which violated his due process rights under the 14th Amendment. The lower court presented Haynes's account to the jury but did not find contradictions in his testimony. Upon examining the evidence, the court concluded that the police engaged in coercive tactics by denying Haynes the right to contact his wife during the interrogation and failing to inform him of his Miranda rights. Consequently, they deemed the confession involuntary. The state, however, argued in favor of the confession's voluntariness, leading the U.S. Supreme Court to consider whether its admission into evidence violated Haynes's due process rights. In their decision, the Supreme Court emphasized that confessions must be voluntary and cannot be obtained through improper coercion or inducement. They ruled that unconstitutionally obtained confessions require a new trial, even if there is substantial independent evidence indicating guilt. In Haynes's case, the court found that his conviction was marred by official overzealousness and remanded the case for further proceedings, highlighting that coerced confessions are inadmissible even in situations where other evidence corroborates the defendant's guilt. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.